In this video, I'll show you how to add up custom fields to your WooCommerce products to allow your customers to view additional information regarding that particular product or even to choose extra options relating to that particular product. Let's get straight into it. For example, I've just said, do you want to personalize this box? I can select no. However, if they select yes, I've created a conditional field where they'll see these additional options. So they can choose the color, they can add a custom message and then they can just proceed to the checkout right i've already got this option in my cart so we can just navigate over to the checkout page and complete the purchase so of course you can be more creative with it you can display product information maybe you want to display a spec list or maybe you want to allow customers to further customize the product like what we're doing here and if you want to create a similar setup on your woocommerce store the first step is to head over to aovup.com go ahead and download the aovup extra product options plugin i'll leave the link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard okay so the first thing we want to do is actually go ahead and upload and install the AOV up product add-ons plugin so you just go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin so with that out of the way we'll go ahead and create our products and then we'll go ahead and add the extra fields to that particular product so I'm just going to head over to products here then we'll click add new and for this example, we'll create our gift box. OK, and we'll go ahead and configure it just like we would any other WordPress product. So we'll just add our image. So we'll add a base price. So we'll say maybe $15. OK, we'll keep the product type to simple. And that's about it. We can choose the category as well. So we can say gift. Let's just publish this. So we'll navigate over to AOV up and then we'll navigate over to product add-ons. And then we'll go ahead and create a new option set. OK, we'll give this a name. So we'll, it's just for internal purposes. Then we get to choose how we want to apply this option set to our product. So we can apply it to all products. We can apply it to a specific product in a particular particular category or a specific product type. I'm going to go ahead and select a specific product here and then I'm just going to search for gift box right and it's this particular product here so we'll select it okay so we've selected a product in which we're going to apply it to we can also choose to apply it to customers from a particular user role to logged out customers to logged in customers and so on but we can ignore this for now we'll go ahead and click add new option and then I'm just going to select a checkbox option right so we're going to say something like, do you want to personalize this gift inbox, right? So this is the first option. So we're going to create a conditional statement. Okay, do you want to personalize this box? And then we'll scroll down and then we'll just create two options. So the first checkbox will be no, for example, meaning they'll only pay the base price for the product, which is $15, right? So we'll say no, and then we'll create another option, which just says yes. Okay, and then we'll just save this. OK, and now we'll go ahead and create two more options. So if they do want to personalize it, we're going to allow them to choose the color of the gift box. And we're also going to allow them to add a custom note within the gift box. So let's create these options. So we'll choose a color swatch and then we can say something like choose your box color. And then here we can choose our color, right? So if you know the X code, you can go ahead and add it in here. We can add another color and then let's add another one. OK, and all these options will charge extra for these options, right? So here where it says the price, so we can set it to no changes or we can set it to increase or decrease. So we're going to set a fixed amount, right? And we're going to say it's an extra five dollars to choose the color. We'll do the same for these other options. And finally, this one. OK, so now when we scroll over to where it says conditional logic, we can enable this option, OK, and then we'll enable this display rule here and then we'll say only show if any of these options match and then we'll select. So this is our checkbox option, right? We'll say the answer needs to be yes and then we'll say yes is selected. So we can save changes. Finally, we'll add our field so the customer can enter in a personalized message. So let's add a new option here. And then this time we will say a text input field. And then we can say something like add your message. And then we can add a placeholder. So for example, we can say happy birthday, for example. So this is just to encourage customers to add some kind of custom message, right? OK, and again, this option will only display if they actually choose to customize this box. So we'll head over to conditional logic again and then we'll enable this option 
And just like we did before, we'll enable this one. And then we will say show if any of these option matches. The checkbox is yes, that I do want to personalize this box. And yes, it's selected. So we'll save changes. Okay, and now we'll scroll down and now we'll just save the entire thing. Okay, so now when we view this gift box option, we should see our custom fields. So here we've got our gift box option and then we can choose if we want to personalize it or not. So we can choose no and then just continue to check out, right? Or if we select yes, then here we've got these additional options, right? So we can choose a color for the box. We can add our custom message, right? And then we can just add it to cart and just check out as normal. Okay, and we can just place order. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.